am Dawn from theminimalmom.com and coming up next I would like to share with you the very simple trick to getting through all of your kids clothes and simplifying it in 10 minutes or less. Seriously, it doesn't have to take all day. I'll share that with you next. If we haven't met before, I am married to Tom. We have four kids, ages three through eight. And uh, we also sell residential real estate, but uh, we work hard to live a minimalist lifestyle. I don't always like that word because it can sometimes uh, separate us or it seems unachievable or maybe not even like something you would want to do. But for us, the benefits have been awesome. And so it's something we continue to do. And I always like sharing tips of how you can achieve simplifying and and minimizing things a lot quicker than it took us, right? And so one of the areas that I put off simplifying for quite a while was with kids' clothes because they had so many. And honestly, my biggest fear was that I would get rid of something that we would later need and I would regret getting rid of it and then we'd have to buy it again, it would cost more money and all of that. And so I wanna share with you my really simple trick for simplifying your kids' clothes uh, where you can eliminate that fear and you don't have to worry about getting rid of something that you might need. And now remember this before we even get started, your kids are probably a lot like all of us where we tend to gravitate towards wearing the same few pieces all of the time. They're the most comfortable and they're the things we like the most. So I'm guessing your kids are really no different. And so with that being said, I wanna show you just a really easy approach to simplifying your kids' wardrobe if they have a ton of clothes right now. So step one is do all the laundry in your house so you know that you have at least like 99% of their clothes, right, when you get started to work from. So I have clothes here. This is uh, for our three-year-old. I had to pull some clothes out of stuff I have set aside for him to grow into and some of it's from our six-year-old just so I could do my demonstration. But then here's the other thing so that you don't have to worry about getting rid of something that you might still want is to have some kind of Rubbermaid tote, plastic container, cardboard boxes, work great, um, anything like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the stuff that we decide we're not gonna use right now into there and we're gonna just set it aside to see if we do end up needing some of it. And so like I mentioned before, kids are pretty predictable. They like to wear the same things over and over again. So you probably have a good idea of what it is that your kids will be wanting to wear. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump out all these clothes. Now, if you're wondering how much clothing do my kids really need, for us, the magic number is five. Five bottoms, five tops, and then a couple long sleeve or sweatshirt um, tops. For this time of year, it's winter. We're in Minnesota, we do layers um, a lot. And so, but five bottoms, five tops, and then I always make sure within that is one nice outfit for church. I do not mind if my kids wear the same outfit to church every week. You might want two outfits if, if that's your thing. Um, now that our girls are a little bit older, they care more about clothes. They have a, a few outfits probably that are nice enough to wear to church on the weekends and they get to pick that out themselves. So here's the trick though. This is what in this is what I would do in the past, right? I would hold up these pants and I'd be like, okay, should we keep them? Should I get rid of them? Should I donate them? Should I pass them on to our nieces and nephews that could possibly wear them, right? And I would go through piece by piece saying, should I keep this and should I not? And then inevitably what would happen is be like, they might wear it again, right? So I put it on the keep pile and then I get through everything and my keep pile is still three quarters of what I had to start with and I don't feel like I made any progress and it took like three hours. So here's what we're gonna do instead. This is the approach that works the simplest for me. And remember, we're not donating it or throwing it away or anything like that yet. So don't worry about making mistakes because we can make adjustments down the road if you need to. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say, okay, five bottoms for my three-year-old. He wears these a lot. These can go to church. Jeans are nice, they're versatile. I try to pick solid colors. We wear a lot of sweatpants around the house because they're just comfortable, they're three, right? Um, so I have three pairs of pants. Here's another pair, these are really warm. I like him to have those and his darker jeans. Five pairs of pants, done, right? Into my keep basket. All right, five tops. I like this long sleeve shirt. Long sleeve shirts are great this time of year. Another long sleeve top. Um, and then we need a couple of t-shirts that he can layer under things. So I'm just gonna pick out, this is a polo. He likes this, it has motorcycles on it. Um, ones that I think 
kind of are the most versatile, cutest. Um, maybe I paid the most for, so I for sure want to see him wear it more before he grows out of it. So let's see, four, five. Okay, so I have five tops. I have two long sleeve shirts and two short sleeve shirts. And then uh, there can be some wiggle room, right? So again, Minnesota layers, I'm gonna pull out two hooded sweatshirts. So here's one hooded sweatshirt. And well, this is a sweatshirt, but it's not hooded. So that's great for layering as well. Done, right? So what I'm gonna do now, this is his new limited wardrobe and we're just gonna try this out for a while. And all these clothes, I'm gonna stick into the bin to keep. Okay, so here's what we're left with. I have the bin of his new limited wardrobe and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try this out for a week or two and see how it goes. It takes a little bit of time to adjust to it. For me, when I finally did take the plunge to simplifying clothes, what I noticed was it didn't feel like there was laundry all over our house anymore. It was always all over the kids' um, bedroom floors. It was all over the laundry room and in the bathroom and in laundry baskets and I didn't know if it was clean or if it was dirty and it was piled on the couch because it needed to be folded. And so what the biggest benefit for us has been of simplifying the kids wardrobe is that there just isn't so much laundry in the house. And I do have to do laundry more often, which I've worked into my schedule. It's really not a big deal. I try to do a load of laundry a day for our family of six and it works out great. But again, the good part is we still have this bin over here that has all of the extra stuff. So if you need to pull something out of it or if you accidentally packed away one of their favorite things, it's still there, it hasn't gone anywhere yet. And then once you have a level of comfort with their new pared down wardrobe, then you can decide what to do with that. If you wanna donate it, give it to another family you know that could make use of it. I think one of the biggest things um, maybe that stands in the way is uh, if you like for your kids to look really cute and trendy all of the time, I would say that I kind of fall in the middle between dressing my kids really fashionable and putting a lot of time and effort into their outfits to not caring. I fall somewhere in the middle. I think it's fun um, when they all match, all four of them, which can be a little bit of a chore, but sometimes for, you know, church, I'll, I'll do that. Um, but a lot of the time, I, you know, if we're just around the house, if we're just going to preschool and that kind of thing, I don't put as much effort into it. And it doesn't bother me if they're wearing um, the same thing day after day. But honestly, nobody notices. No one's ever said anything like that to me that they've noticed my kids don't have an extensive wardrobe. So it might not be as noticeable as you think. So um, certainly let me know if you have questions. Please leave them in the comments and I will um, answer them. As always, I will link to um, other related posts like my laundry system. For example, I'm not gonna fold any of this. It just goes in the bin after it comes out of the dryer. And that's what I do and it keeps uh, the laundry a lot simpler and a lot easier to do. So I'll link to that below as well. And uh, good luck on your journey. I would love to hear how it goes.